Man, Rick, there's something about seeing the Prince on nothing ever else in the world. Full sibling harmony. Huh? Sibling harmony. And look at the other folks who are siblings. Siblings who have gone far. The Doobie Brothers! I don't know who are not siblings, but they're all they have really that harmony. But say, for example, the Bee Gees, I don't know how you feel about the Bee Gees. here in the land Florida, see that I'm drinking beer. I'm actually out on pass. Uh, <laughs> folks will see this. I was drinking. Fire me. Kick me out of the facility. Unfortunately, you can't because I've already gone out and made it big. That's why you're watching this. Cheers. Give us a stink of beach there. Oh, it's Alan beside the beach. As we go here, Oh, I'm saying that out here we have folks that are a pleasure walking along the beach. Normal folks who may not be crackheads like myself, however. Soon they will be if they continue to use crack in the amount that they are using crack. <laughs> For example, those folks over there. Uh, you see them going into the store there. Those folks right there now, those are the typical crackheads. Look at that dress on that damn <laughs> Imagine what's going on in that gentleman's head. Riding a bicycle. As he tools along the beach, he's gotten stuck here, so he unfortunately will have to push his bike the rest of the way in. <laughs> As you can tell, he has had a few beers in his lifetime, judging from the enormous beer gut. <laughs> but no worries, because by George, he's enjoying the hell out of himself on a nice Sunday afternoon here at the beach in Daytona Beach, Florida. Welcome to the beach, by the way, gentlemen. As you can see, it's a scenic, wonderful place to come. Uh, for the mountains of Tennessee, as you can tell, there's much of a difference here. Plus, I focus on those waves up there. Notice those white caps which are breaking. There's something to be said for the beauty of nature, I'll tell you. By God, there's something to be said for the beauty of nature. What a beautiful pair. As we look at the pier now, we ask ourselves, what exactly constitutes those folks? Now, take, for example, that couple walking hand in hand there. I don't see the couple. There's a couple. There's a couple. <laughs> and they're walking hand in hand. Now, the oh, woman the is couple. completely ignorant of the fact that the man is also much like myself, a crackhead. Now, now imagine as their marriage dissipates, or whatever the hell there is it is that they have, a fuck buddy relationship, she will no longer give him that sweet pussy. As a result of the fact that every night when the man leaves her, he's addicted to that skin. He's <laughs> Woo! That sort of thing, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. <laughs> Say hello, Jesse. <laughs> that we're staying at here. Uh, the water was out as a result of a uh, complete lack of plumbing in the entire building. For about six hours this morning, we had to call a plumbing expert to install plumbing. That would be Rick Corbier. No, not really. Now, there was some sort of... I did speak with the gentleman at the front. He said, absolutely, no refunds. You signed some sort of paper that said no matter what goes wrong uh, throughout, basically, throughout your stay here at the Sea Brazil, that they are not liable for any, any failing of uh, the plumbing or light, electricity, television... Uh, they provide no toilet paper, no soap, no toiletries in general, uh, and you are responsible for all upkeep of the facility while the time that you're here, saying you have to see Brazil and find a temp day time to be supported. I've uh, just about run out of funny things to say, so it's time for the uh, camera to go off. 